As we take a look back on 2023, we're highlighting the top medical advancements made throughout the year and how they lead the way for new developments in 2024. Here to break it all down, Fox News medical contributor and my buddy, Dr. Mark Siegel. Doctor, thanks for joining us. You know, we have a list of, of advancements here. Some of them you and I just decided are maybe a little bit more exciting, and some of them even pertain to me. So we'll start with AI. Explain what AI looks like in 2024. I mean, artificial intelligence has exploded. It's in center seat now, and doctors initially were afraid it's going to replace us. It's going to replace us. But I think we're getting more used to the idea that it's our co-pilot. One is a program coming out of Mass General Hospital called Sybil, which looks at CAT scans of the lung and says where lung cancer is before it even develops into lung cancer. Wow. What a great tool for a radiologist. We're also seeing that with the heart. We're, we're, we're having wearables where literally something called, a company called Infobionics, one called Zion, they literally have monitors which will tell me, again, with the help of artificial intelligence, when someone's going into an abnormal normal heart rhythm and when they have to get into the hospital or if I treat that heart rhythm and I ablate it or I get rid of it, I monitor them on the outside yeah. for days or months to figure out if they stay in normal rhythm. This is going to save lives with both radiology and with the heart. Those are huge advances in 23 coming into 24. Yeah, you're taking small points of data and creating a prediction out of them that can save lives. I don't see how that's going to replace a doctor. You still got to have a doctor there to make a determination to have discernment. Along More information, with, absolutely. Exactly. And, and along with AI comes getting that data, and that's where the wearables come in. Explain to us what that means. Well, a wearable just basically tells me that what's going on in a person's body. What is their blood pressure? What is their oxygen level? What is their heart rate? What does their EKG look like? I can get there, and, and this goes together with telemedicine too, by the way. So I get into the home, and I see what's going on with you, and I can do it without you actually being in front of me, but I can do it 24-7. So that's the wearable idea. It started with an Apple Watch, started with an idea of a single lead EKG. Now it's all kinds of information. Soon we're going to have ultrasound probes where I can do a probe of your liver without even being there. That's where we're heading next. That's amazing. I love the idea of doing it from your home. Sometimes when I go into a doctor's office, they ask me questions and I get nervous about the answer because am I remembering it differently? It'd be much better to do it right there from your house. I want to talk, this last topic's really important me, and we're going to start with the idea of a transplant. Now, I guess the, one of the first eye transplants has happened or is about to happen. Explain that. You know, NYU has been amazing this year, and this is my institution, but they've yes, done, sir. they've done uh, pig, use pig kidney, pig mm -hmm. heart transplant. Pig kidney uh, lasted for over two months making urine. That's the future, using organs from other, uh, other or animals or, or artificial organs from computer. But we also had a brain eye, tra we also had a face eye transplant wow. where literally an entire eye was put in. The blood flow is returned to the eye. The retina is still alive and viable and we're waiting to see if some sight comes back. It may come back. In the future, we're not a Blade Runner yet where you're yeah. literally transplanting eyes, but we're going to get to the point where we can restore vision through transplant. That's coming up in the near future. You know, speaking of Blade Runner, they have transplants for legs. They might be one day be able to grow them back or even have robot legs that I can control with my brain. There's so much on the horizon. Well, but looking at 2024 to wrap this up, what is your hope for this next year? By the way, with your other point, digital interfaces are allowing people to feel their legs again, to, as you said, regrow legs, legs coming back. For 2024, I want to go back in time. I want people to understand the doctor's been replaced by the government in center seat. Let's put the doctor back, the doctor-patient relationship. But here's my key prescription for 2024, Joey. Not the doctor pontificating. The doctor listens to the patient. Come and tell us what's bothering you, what your concerns are. That's right. What your fears are, and we will listen before we answer. I love it. I know that's what you do. Thank you for joining us. I love the information. Who knows what will come next. Uh, Dr. Mark Siegel, thank you. And uh, for more information, you can read the doctor's op-ed on this topic this morning in the New York Post. Thanks, Joey. Yes, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.